Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. It's Brian here with another here on BD Crafts and more here on YouTube. So, today we're going to be going over a new mini catalog from Stampin' Up. This will be the September through December catalog. I know this one looks a little rough because it went through some water and some rain recently. So, my apologies for the way it looks, but I promise you all the pages work like they should. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up on my lap, I mean on my iPad, so I can read the comments. And let's see here. Here we go, it says I got two watching. So who all's here so far? Hey Jessica, how are you? Thank you, Jessica. I really appreciate that for sharing me out. Every little bit counts. Okay, so um, I guess we're going to get straight into this. Unless I want to, you know what? I think I'm going to message somebody first on Facebook. Let them know I'm going live. I'll be right back. I'm still here, I promise. Let's see here. And let's get off of there. I'm sorry about that. It's going to take a minute for this to... do all the stuff. All right, so I'm back, hopefully for good this time. Unless I remember something else that I forgot. So like I said earlier, this is the Stampin' Up! Mini Catalog walkthrough that I'm doing with y'all today. It's the September through December Mini Catalog. So that's going to run from September... Sixth, which was earlier this week, through the end of December. I don't see the exact date it's over with, but I assume it's December 31st. Since it's September through December. Hey Cordelia, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna go through our icons first. I'm going to try my best to hold this up as well as I can. As much as I can. My glasses are broken. I'm trying to wear them still and it's not working. So you have to hold this real close to me. Okay, so if you see a clock icon in here, basically what that means is quick and easy projects perfect for creating multiples, like, you know, mass production, semi-line production, whatever you want to call it. And distinctive stamps create different opacities as in a single stamped image, which means it creates, you know, a different look within each stamp. It's basically like you have a square, 
half of it will look one way and half of it will look a little darker, even though you're using the same exact ink on the whole thing. It's hard to describe, but I think that's the best way to describe it. Okay, reversibles. Here's the one I really like the most. And this one is specialized photopolymer stamps with images on both sides. So I'm going to try to find one of those for you real quick, let you be able to see what I mean by that. I may not be able to. I don't know yet. Oh, here we go. This is an example of what I'm talking about here. On one side, you got your regular stamped image with, you know, your lines and everything. And on the opposite side is... What it is, is, I'll show you first. This side's your side with the uh, um, lines and all that on there. And then, but first you want to put on this side, having the, I'll show you what I mean. First step you want to do is put the lines side on your ink block or stamp block, like so. And it'll stay there. And then you're going to stamp the whole image with one color of ink. So say I want to do this pumpkin. I'll use pumpkin pie to do the outline. You know, the whole image. You go ahead and ink that up. Stamp it on your paper. It'll come out just like this. Then you clean it off and flip it over, stamping up in a different color, maybe like, I'm not sure, crumb cake or something like that. That's a nice, softer color, but not too soft, I guess. And what you're going to do then is ink that up and put it over that same area as you just stamped. Stamp again, and the lines will show up. And that eliminates the need to do a lot of coloring and detail and such. So in my opinion, that is a great idea Stampin' Up! came up with. I really like it. I really want to see more of those coming out soon. I hope you all are following me on this one. Let's see, do y'all have any questions? All right, Jessica, bye. See you later. Okay, so next icon we have here is um the One Million Dollar Club. Demonstrators who reach the sales milestone of $1 million earn the chance to help develop a product. Could be stamp set, could be stamp and die set, could be um, DSP, which is designer series paper, which basically all probably know that as pattern paper. So that's not an interesting thing, too. There will be some of those in this catalog, I believe. And the mini stamp in the boss machine. When you see this icon, that is all the products on that one, one thing is basically meant to go through the mini stamp, the mini 
stamp cut and emboss machine or something like that. I forget what it's called. Cut, stamp, and emboss. I forget what it is, but cut, stamp and cut and emboss machine. It says it right there. And the bundles, this is where the great deal comes in. If you order the whole bundle, the stamps, the dies, and the DSP for the whole collection, you can get 10% off that entire bundle. As opposed to, say, stamp and die set and thinking, man, I should have bought that DSP as well. And then thinking, going back, buying it. Because actually, that will save you 10% if you buy it all at once. So, um, what we're going to look at first is page 8 through 9 is Mary Bold and Bright. Um, those are the suites. And these are artistically designed suites to include coordinating products that work together seamlessly for a wide variety of looks and projects. So page 8 through 9 will be Mary Bold and Bright. 14 through 17 will be A Holy Night. Berry Christmas will be 22 through 24. These are page numbers I'm talking about here. <clears throat> Joy Christmas will be 28 through 31. I can believe me, we're not going to get through this whole catalog in one live stream, I don't think. Even I couldn't do that. You may think I have patience of a saint, but I really don't have that much patience. Believe me. So we're just going to take this one page at a time. So before I go any further, does anybody have any questions about how this catalog works or how anything works with Stampin' Up? And also, don't forget, if you have a demonstrator already from Stampin' Up, or even if you do and you're not satisfied with them, please do consider letting me be your Stampin' Up demonstrator. Uh, the instructions to make me your demonstrator are below on that crawl banner on the bottom of the screen here. All you got to do is go to stampinup.com and select me, which is Brian Dickey in Batesville, Mississippi, as your demonstrator. And you can shop with me from that point on. And it'll save your preferences each time you come back. So that's a good thing that it does that too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start looking here. Got that polar bear punch. That's pretty cool. So we got um, Walk in the Forest 12, 12, 12 by 12 Desire Series paper here. And that will be right here on the right side of the screen. That sells for $12.50. 12 sheets, two each of six double-sided Desire Series papers. Some images coordinate with the Mary Trees dies and very cute punch, acid-free, lignin-free, and then names colors that coordinate with this color, uh, with this scheme on the on the DSP. Okay, so 
Also, there's even more stuff online. I'm not sure if you know already or not, but we, we here at Stampin' Up! do online exclusives now. What that is, is those are kits and collections and such as that and bundles. They're only available online. You'll never see them in the catalog. You'll only ever see them online. So that's another good idea, another good way to remember to go look at Stampin' Up! website at least a couple times a month, see if there are any new deals, new offers, and new web exclusives. And speaking of um, new deals, we do have a special release for some 12 by 12 DSPs. Um, let me put it to you this way. Um, they were going to release it later on, but they decided not to. They decided to release it early, and it's limited edition. So basically what it means is you can only find it online because they made the decision after they got done with the catalog, I suppose. So I couldn't put it in the catalog. And that means that once they run out of this supply of the DSP, it's gone. It's gone forever. They're not going to reorder or reorder and reorder and reorder time and again. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. Kind of like how the clearance rack works. And also there is the Christmas Everywhere Kit that you can get now on stampinup.com. And that will make nine Christmas cards that will have celebrate, you know, Christmas in different parts of the world, like in the Arctic, um, in the desert, you know, on the beach, stuff like that. I, for what I've seen, there's some pine trees and Christmas trees and some palm trees on there. So that'll be something to look into. Okay, so we're going to, in that thing, right into this next page, in fact. <clears throat> so, next up is the Merry, Bold, and Bright Suite. You can get all this. It includes a full polymer stamp set. Let's see. Okay, first of all, you get the whole suite for a six dollars, which will include your photo polymer stamp set and okay, iridescent ribbon, adhesive back backed discs. Mill Mama Green Apple Green 12 by 12 Desired Series, not Desired Series paper, solid color cardstock. No, those aren't. Those are actually foil sheets. Mary Bold and Bright Desired Series paper, which is down here. And you get the die set as well and stamp set. So for the bundle, there's 47 dollars and fifty cents that will include the bright Mary and bright stamp set and the Mary and bright die set this is photopolymer stamps so if you don't know what photopolymer stamps are this is why I showed you all a few minutes ago these are those clear acrylic type stamps that we we're playing with a few minutes ago this is what we call a photopolymer stamp. You can see through it and everything. Now I'll show you the opposite of photopolymer real quick. If I can find one. 
Okay, so this is what we call, sometimes we call it red rubber stamp sets, but at Stampin' Up! we call these clean rubber stamps. Sorry, just clean stamps. And these are, you know, the classic red rubber. I'll take one of these off real quick. Off of here. So you have the, your stamp here, stamped image. You have a little foam here. And then you got this protective layer of paper over the foam. And then if you want to, it is recommended that you overlay these with the corresponding sticker. And a sticker will be sticking on both sides. Once it's down on that foam, it ain't come back up. Believe me. But the other side will enable it to stick down on your, on your acrylic pad and not be there permanently. But if it needs washing off ever, you need a baby wipe or just warm soapy water or just warm water or whatnot. And so let it air dry or use a, wet, a dry washcloth to clean off with. Same thing with photopolymer stamps here. Or wherever I put them. You just let them wash them off. Soap and water. Just plain water. Or baby wipes, why I use, then dry it off with a dry washcloth or hand towel. Simple as that. So I'm wondering if anybody's out there still. Is anybody there? I don't know if I need to continue or not. <laughs> I don't know if this is worth continuing on or not at this point. Okay, well, I'm going to go a little longer, I guess. Hopefully, somebody else will show up and start chatting. Let's see here. Um... So just as a reminder, the um, Stampin' Up! does have two different kinds of stamp, cut, and emboss machines, which is basically your big shot, basically, but it just looks different, and the plates are different, you know, all that good stuff. <clears throat> so the regular size... Stamping cut and boss machine is $128 at this time. I'm not sure if that's a regular price or if that is on sale or whatnot, but still and all, if you need a die cut machine, that'll be a great way to go. Great price and everything. Or better yet. For a smaller footprint, quote unquote, on your desk area, in your crafting area, if you don't have much room for a die cut machine, you can always get the stamp cut and emboss mini for $66. And these will be in your annual catalog, page 153. Let's see if I can find those real quick for you. I don't know if I'm going to continue or not. Nobody's really watching. Nobody's really commenting. 
I don't even know if it's worth it right now. Trying to see here if I can find one. So here's a regular size stamp cut in a boss machine. It's about six inches wide. It's about the same width as your Spellbinders Platinum or your Big Shot machine by Sizzix. And then you got this mini stamp cut in a boss machine, which I believe is about three or three and a half inches wide. And that's about the same size as your Sizzix Sidekick machine. Or your, um, forget the one Spellbinders has. I had one at one point. I forget what it's called now. But basically, that's what you got there. Those are your two choices. So I tell you what, I don't think anybody's really watching right now. So I'm just going to end this live. I may come back on later and do this like as a pre-recorded video. Maybe do like a series of them or something. I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that at this point. So there seems to be no interest in this kind of stuff today. So... So I'm going to get going, y'all. Hope y'all have a great day. If y'all have done so yet, please do give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, please do also subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for all notifications. And I'll see y'all again real soon. Bye. And now to turn this off.